Keep calm and pray the Psalms for Saturday, the last day of the seventh week of Martyr's Tide. In fact, it is the very last evening of Martyr's Tide. For tomorrow is the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels, the beginning of really a dual tide, Angel's Tide and All Saints Tide, which will have a lot more to say in the weeks, in the couple of weeks to come. But we move our focus now from uh, martyrs, which are actually you and I in this land of tribulation, those of us who rely on the word of the Lord even though the chaos of the world tries to tell us that the word of the Lord is worth nothing. So congratulations for making it this far. Tomorrow we will have the Office of Matins, it being a fifth Sunday. It's one of those rare months where there's five Sundays in the month. Office of Matins where we will sing God's praises while we receive his gifts, where we will remember the, the angels who are created beings along with us and what that means for us and for our Christian walk. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 99. The Lord reigns, let the peoples tremble. He sits enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion, he is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name, holy is he. The king in his might loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God, worship at his footstool, holy is he. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also was among those who called upon his name. They called to the Lord and he answered them. In the pillar of the cloud he spoke to them. They kept his testimonies and the statute that he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but an avenger of their wrongdoings. Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We say the Catechism. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or as manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, whose strength is made perfect in weakness, grant us humility and childlike faith that we may please you in both will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Lord, lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., it will be great to see you right here for the office of Matins. You have a good night.